We are a little over a week away from an exciting new event here in Rockford, Diamonds Top Gun. It's Thursday, June 15th at Emory Air North Hangar. We're getting the inside scoop from some former Rockfordians who will be at the event. U.S. Navy Top Gun instructor LCDR Michael Andrews and Roscoe Native and ESPN Sports Center anchor Nicole Briscoe. How are you guys? I'm good. Thank You're you for well. having us. Yeah, thanks for being here. Diamonds is a new event created by the Founders Commission to shine a light on some of the incredible people from our community who have gone on to do amazing things like the two of you. So this year's theme is Top Gun, which I think kind of has something to do with you, Michael. What did you think when the idea was brought to you? Uh, initially, when Mr. Povolitis reached out to me, we we're old high school friends uh, and it I didn't even give it a second thought. Yeah, I told him absolutely I'd be 100% on board. I think the quote I gave him was, "I don't care if you throw it in your driveway, I'm gonna come <laughs> out. I'm gonna come out, help you out, uh, and, and speak." So uh, I was 100% in uh, straight from the get-go, and I, I think it's awesome that he's had the ability to kind of get this off the ground, and hopefully this is just the first of many renditions of this program that highlights local talent. Absolutely. You're the keynote presenta uh, presenter for the event, which is next Thursday. What are you planning to share with the audience? In general, my story. Uh, so we're going to talk about, you know, how I went from growing up in the Rockford area, graduating from Auburn High School in 1998, uh, doing a year at Illinois State, and then kind of leaving Illinois State after a year because I had no idea what I wanted to do. And then going from that point, to how did I become a Top Gun instructor uh, after, you know, and, and do an entire 20 year career in the United States Navy. You know, what were the things that drove that change mm -hmm. in my personal life to get me to that point? And we're just gonna kind of highlight those things as well as also highlighting the amount of extraordinary talent that is produced by the greater Rockford community. Uh, and also taking note that it is profession agnostic. It is not restricted to just the military or sports media. It is any profession that you can think of. Rockford has produced extraordinary talent that has gone on to do incredible things in those professions. And we kind of want to highlight that as well, while also taking note of the fact that we want to affect the next generation of talent that is currently being produced in the Rockford area uh, and do things through scholarship uh, foundations, mm -hmm. funding uh, to make sure that we cultivate that talent so that it does good things both in and outside the greater Rockford area. It's such an awesome event to, you know, the idea is great and having both of you there too because we know the outside world doesn't always shine the best light on Rockford. So those of us who are here or have been here before kind of getting to be able to tell those stories and encourage the young people because they are the next generation of possible diamonds, if you will. Um, Nicole, you're emceeing the event. How does it feel to be headed back to Rockford for something like this? It's always nice to be able to go home and see family and friends that I haven't had a chance to catch up with in a long time. But I also think it's really important. I mean, we've talked about this many times because um, perhaps, as you know, Eric Wilson, is yeah. someone I've worked with since I was, you know, basically a child. I've known him since I was 19 years old. And you always think about um, the area in which you grew up as your foundation. But there are so many people, a part of my life and part of uh, Mike's life, that have helped us grow up and turn into the people we are. So being able to, to go home and sort of pay tribute to, to those people, those families, those friends, um, and honor them uh, by telling our stories or highlighting some of the amazing things that like Mike has accomplished. It, it was sort of a no-brainer when I was asked, hey, do you want to do this? Yes, I didn't say I would do it in my in Nick's driveway, but I was I was all in. You're more in for the gala. You're like make it make it oh, fun, no, make I've it fancy. That so many times, I get to wear a fancy dress. Yes. I am in. Absolutely. What are you most uh, looking forward to next Thursday aside from the fancy dress and talking to all of these great people? <laughs> I get to be like the air traffic controller yeah. for this event um, and I get to sit back and I get to listen to the amazing stories and I get to listen to Mike talk about um, how he developed into the man and, 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 and person that he is today. And it's always nice to be able to sit back and listen to those things and compare stories and catch up with people that you haven't seen in a really long time. Um, so for me, just to be involved in even the smallest way, it, it's an honor. And I really hope that this is something the Founders Commission is able to do year after year, because, you know, as Mike said, 
the amount of talent that has come through our area is is tremendous and it is across the board it is in aviation it is in sports entertainment it's in sports um and to to just be a small part of that is a lot of fun yeah it really really is all right last question for you nicole since we mentioned the gala and the dress do you know what you're gonna wear <laughs> um i've narrowed it down to two okay <laughs> uh, i i currently I currently have a poll going with my two best friends, my mom and my aunt. <laughs> my husband's weighing in France at the moment, but his opinion doesn't count because his opinion is, <laughs> it's just no. And I've involved my daughters too. So I, I've narrowed it down to two okay. and I'll probably bring both with me. You know, that's yeah. really the best idea anyway. <laughs> Thank right. you both uh, so much for being here with me. You can get your tickets at founderscommission.org. We're so excited to have both of you back here in Rockford Thursday, June 15th for Diamonds Top Gun.